My name is Perman Lopez. I'm from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I'm a bladesmith. I make knives. We forge knives here. I've been a member of Mixer for about six months now. Last year, I was fortunate enough that I competed on Fortune and Fire. On my case, I had to do what's called a quad hollow grind. That's a four-edge blade that was used in World War II. You can find me on uh, Season 6, Episode 10 on Fortune and Fire. Several years ago, when I came back from, my, from Iraq, I was a little depressed and I needed something to get my mind off of things. So I went on YouTube and I saw a young man making a knife. So I said, yeah, let me try it out and see. So I went ahead and I tried it and it calmed me down and it actually worked pretty good. So I've been doing it now for seven years. I went on YouTube and I started watching videos and I saw this kid making a knife, like I said, you know, with charcoal and a blow dryer and a piece of metal. and a, uh, carpenter's hammer and I just decided to why not let me go ahead and take a look at it so that's what I do a good friend of mine his name is Zev and he's a welder here he teaches classes here and he was working on my Jeep and he said hey um, I see I hear that you, see, you do knives and I said yes yeah. hey I belong to this place called the mixer and you will do great so I came by I took a look at the place and I was like yeah it's just close to my house and they have all the equipment that I need why not and here I am actually teaching a class. A lot of my friends, that's how it started. It was a word of mouth. Uh, some of the guys, they say, hey, can you make me a knife? So I did, and that got to someone else, someone else. And I have knives all over the world, everywhere from South America to Australia, New Zealand. Um, I even have some in uh, Ireland, Puerto Rico, different parts of the world. My knives have brought me, uh, I guess you could say, calmness and sin into my life because I love what I do now with the knives. It's something that it's one of one, it's not one of many. I love to teach. Um, I have always believed that it's good to pass things on, not to keep your secrets to yourself when it comes to creating something because that other person might have a different view of what you have and make something even more amazing. And if they need help, I'm always there for them. Mixer has helped me in so many ways because of networking, the media, um, social media, you know, um, they had a good location, good personality, awesome atmosphere, everyone is friendly here. If I need help with anything, anyone, regardless where they're from different upbringings or where they're working on a different material, they will take their time to actually help me and I will do the same for them now. For someone who's just starting, I will always say, if you have any questions, ask. A question that is never asked, it will be never answered. Don't be afraid to follow your, your dreams. If there's something that you want to accomplish, try your best. If you fall and you scrape your knee, get back up, dust it off, get back on it and do what you gotta do to make it. Because once you complete it, you will be very thankful that you did. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, let's glue this.